What's up everybody? Uh, middle of July, it's actually July 16th. It's a Saturday afternoon, Will and I are out here. Uh, we wanted to film another video quick for you guys. Um, the topic of today's video is, what's the best trail camera? So I got a cardboard box filled with cams and we're gonna tell you what we think, so stay tuned. All right, first camera we're talking about. Not a cell cam, just a regu regular old traditional camera. Uh, these two are the Bushnell Trophy Cam HDs. These were my favorite cameras for a long time. Um, these cameras are probably like, I'd say at least six years old. They take really good photos and they work well. Uh, I'm not sure why the color is different. I think maybe just in the dyes or whatever, or maybe from a different year they change colors, but I've got two of these. Uh, they work They work really well. I've never had any issues. The batteries uh, or the battery life has always been really good. Uh, SD cards, the photo quality is very good. So for a long time, these are my these are my favorite cameras. Obviously, there's cell cameras out, so those are my new favorite thing. Um, but as far as a tr traditional camera, I've always had really good success with these two cams. So I'll go ahead and add some photos of uh, these cameras and how they worked uh, in low light and during the day. But as far as that goes, for I think I used to get these on sale for like 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Great camera. Next camera, we did a review on this one uh, a couple years back. This is the Landmoto uh, hunting trail camera off of Amazon. These I think were 80 bucks or 100 bucks maybe. And it's, it's an Amazon trail camera <laughs> that's cheap. Uh, but it was, for the money, it's okay. I guess if you wanted to buy a ton of cameras and you, you didn't want to worry about getting one stolen, this option would be, uh, would be fine, but I think it came with a 32 gigabyte memory card and stuff, and it does have a, a screen on the inside to show you uh, what photos and stuff you had, so that was pretty cool. Um, I guess what I should have done is on the, last, on the last trail cams, I didn't show you the inside, but they also have a screen just for the settings and stuff. You wouldn't be able to see any photos. Um, that was the Trophy Cam HD Bushnell. But anyways, uh, the... Amazon camera, the features are good and everything. Um, picture quality is is not great. Uh, it's it's a trail camera. It'll show you what's there and you'll be able to see. But the photo quality, I would say, is not fantastic. But it works. Uh, I've had it for a season or two now, and it it has worked. I've never had any issues. So as far as that goes, decent camera for the money. Anyways, this is the Stealth Cam model. Uh, PX24 CMOC V2. Uh, this was a camera I had purchased. It's not a cell cam, just a regular traditional camera. Um, but it does have pretty decent picture quality. I believe it takes videos as well, I think. Um, videos were decent. I would say this is a great uh, budget style camera. Um, this design does kind of camo pretty good on the trees. Uh, around here, the hardwood forest, so that does camo up pretty well. And yeah, overall, great budget camera. Uh, decent photos, decent video. I'm, I'm almost positive it takes video, but other than that, pretty good camera. Uh, once again, this is the Stealth Cam PX24 CMOC V2 is the model. I think somewhere around 100 bucks or 80 bucks, somewhere, somewhere's in that range, maybe 120. But good, good overall camera. So the next camera I want to talk about, I don't actually have because someone stole it last year, but uh, the Tacticam- Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah, shout out if you're watching the video and you stole my camera, appreciate that. It was the Tacticam Reveal. Uh, it was a cell cam, so I would say a really good camera. I think they're around that $100, $120 range. I may have bought it on sale for a hundred bucks. Uh, the app system was pretty good. Uh, camera took good photos. I'm I don't remember if it took videos or not uh, But it, it for a uh, cell cam at that price range uh, Was my first one and I thought it was uh, pretty good um, Besides the fact that it was stolen from some guy that hunts public around here That kind of pissed me off if you guys are hunters don't steal people's trail cameras I mean maybe if they're if they put them on your private property, that's one thing but in public lands There's nothing worse than going out to a stolen camera or a missing tree stand or something like that. We're all here on the sport together. Let's act like men and respect each other and don't steal cameras. So that's my rant on that. My new favorite camera 
is now these bad boys. So these cameras are the, they have their antenna here that screws on. So these cameras are the Stealth Cam Fusion, I believe is the title. Uh, these two are both cell cams. I don't have the antenna on this one. I just put this one on to show you guys. These are my new favorite cameras. Um, they range for about 140 bucks, I believe, somewhere in there, 140, 150. But as far as the, uh, the cell cams go, these have been my favorite. So there's no screens or nothing in here. It, all it is is a battery pack. You scan your code on your phone and it links you to the app. Now, the reason why these are my favorite is because the picture quality is pretty good, number one. Number two, the app worked very well. I never had any issues with it. So that was another thing. Um, and maybe it was a setting I had or not, but it sent you one photo every day at a specific time. I mean, that's a good way to know like, hey, my camera's still here, blah, blah, blah. As far as my other Tacticam that I had, it didn't do that. And for like two months, I thought the camera with the battery was just dead or whatever, way deep into public and actually it was stolen. So that, that's a nice feature why I like about these. You know if it's still there every day, but uh, I believe that the Muddy Trail cameras actually use the Stealth Cam app as well. And I don't personally own any of those, but I've heard good things from, uh, some guys around here, uh, Mr. Bell, if you're watching, you were one, he said he loves his mu uh, muddy cell cam. So uh, I don't have any experience with them, but he said they're really good. So I love these cameras. They're uh, my go-to and I have a couple of them. So as far as other cell cams go, I haven't, I don't have a ton of experience with uh, many other brands. These are just the ones I have that I've used over the years. Um, but I really like these for the price range, picture quality, battery life and the app itself so okay so one thing i didn't mention was the stealth cam fusion uh this is only a picture camera that would be the only downfall so this year or i guess it was last year new to me this year this is the fusion x camera and i believe this one yeah this one takes photo and videos now so this is like the updated model um so i got a couple of those for this year I got two more. Uh, I, I'm this is this is an unbiased review. I'm not pushing Stealth Cam here. I just personally really like them. We're not we don't have any affiliation with Stealth Cam, but uh, the app is good. These are also these are the Verizon cameras. I don't know if there's a difference between Verizon and AT and T uh, as far as how the systems work, but these are the Verizon ones. If you were wondering, so one thing to note is uh, through the app. The trail cameras you have to pay a monthly subscription and it is very affordable with the stealth cam app to add more cameras and do however amount of pictures you want to do i think it was uh pretty affordable 10 or 15 bucks a month uh, you know as for, once you start adding more cameras it might go up a little bit but i remember at least last year that it was very affordable for the app so that was another bonus so i don't have any pictures of these hopefully by the time i get this to edit this video and stuff i'll have some photos off of these bad boys but as far as everything else goes, I will be posting photos along throughout this interview with all the uh, photos and videos from each camera specifically so you get a better idea. But that's what's uh, going on this year. So we're going to be setting trail cams very soon here. I got to get some batteries, wipe some SD cards, the whole nine. But we're super excited. Will and I are going to be hitting the woods hard this year. Uh, Will's been dialing in on the bow and uh, we're gonna kill some kill some deer earlier season this year. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of meat processing, different style uh, of hunting. We're trying to do some collabs. We got a lot of things in the works. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and subscribe and follow us along this hunting season. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the woods. We really appreciate you watching. So we'll see you on the next one, thanks.